Hello all, welcome back to Oak Abode. Today I'm just going over five really easy ways to save about 165 bucks a month on your grocery bill. I am doing these calculations based on two adults and obviously every family is going to be different. So bear with me, make the changes you need to make for your calculations. But this was not even hard for me to come up with ways to save $165. I did it in like 10 minutes. So hopefully it helps a bit for anybody out there looking to save money on your grocery bill. Number one, I'll tell you right off the bat, it's going to make people mad, but hey, if you got to save money, you got to save money. And one option to do that is to switch from coffee to tea. And I'm not even talking about getting coffee to go from Starbucks or something, just everyday coffee. Basically, we were spending about 90 cents a day on coffee, and that is about three of those coffee pods at about 30 cents each. Between two adults, my husband has at least two of them, and I would have about one a day. And if we switch this to tea, which is about three cents per tea bag, that means we could go from $27 a month to about $1.80 a month. So that right there is $25.20 in savings. Plus, my guilty pleasure is coffee creamer. So by eliminating the coffee creamer, if I'm not drinking coffee, that's another four bucks of savings. Number two, going from paper towels to rags. The study says that the average person uses about 80 rolls per year, and that is average American, I believe. So that means if we were able to eliminate paper towels in our family, figuring about $2 a paper towel roll, that means that if we switched from paper towels to rags, we could save about $26.67 a month on our grocery bill. Now, I know there are some minimal costs with washing rags and that kind of thing. Bear with me. It's pretty obvious that you can save a lot of money from switching from paper towels to rags. Option number three is to swap in one to two vegetarian meals a week. This study from 2015 said that vegetarians save an average of $750 a year, which equals about $1,500 a year for two people. So that's savings of about $557 per meal. So if you average out five meals a week, that equals about $46 a month in savings, swapping out two dinners a week for vegetarian ones. And keep in mind, that is from a 2015 study. So if the savings were only $750 a year per person in 2015, based on inflation, you can imagine that now it's going to be much more savings than that. So this is probably a pretty conservative estimate. The next point I have is to make sourdough bread. There are a lot of funky ways that websites have calculated the cost of making sourdough. I've seen them say that you have to factor in $20 an hour in labor costs, which is crazy to me because I don't think anybody I know is taking time off work and their own salary to make sourdough. So that's ridiculous. But if I calculate it out myself, I pay about 14 cents per cup of flour for non-GMO flour from Costco. So if I figure about five cups of flour per sourdough, that's one cup of feeding the starter and about four cups per loaf, that means I'm paying about 75 cents per loaf of sourdough. Yes, there's a little bit extra in there for energy costs, but it's pretty negligible. So if I replace three loaves of bread per week instead of store-bought bread, I use my own home-baked sourdough, that's saving us $39 a month. And again, that's pretty conservative estimate because we don't just replace like a loaf of bread. We'll use it. We'll use sourdough instead of rice. We'll use it to uh, make breadcrumbs and things. So there's lots of ways to save money with sourdough, but even just replacing about three loaves of a week of sourdough, that's $39 a month. The last point I have, I know not everybody can do this, but hey, it's our channel and I have to mention it. Keeping chickens for eggs. I estimate we pay about a buck fifty a dozen raising farm fresh eggs when it comes to kind of the infrastructure and obviously the feed. We don't have a really grain heavy diet for our chickens. They do a lot of free ranging and they get a lot of refrigerator scraps. So 150 is a pretty generous estimate for what we're paying per dozen. These days, it's hard to find eggs for less than $4 a dozen, which is insane. But even the cheapest eggs you can find are around at least $4 a dozen. And even though they're not nearly as good quality as our farm fresh eggs, I'll still compare them. So even just assuming we're comparing farm fresh eggs to factory farm eggs, we're saving at least $3.50 per dozen. And we eat a lot of eggs. We eat at least two dozen eggs a week. That's because we get a lot of eggs. So we eat a lot of them, sometimes more than that. But Based on those calculations, we're saving at least $28 a month on eggs at the bare minimum. 
So based on these switches and these numbers, we could save almost $170 a month on groceries just based on the cost for two adults. I know some people are gonna be using more paper towels or fewer, or they're gonna have kids in the family, or maybe you are single and living alone. So obviously these numbers can fluctuate a lot, but just based on two adults, it's pretty amazing how quickly we can save money if we really look for ways to do it. Full disclosure, my husband refuses to give up coffee. So it's not like we're actually necessarily doing this, but it is certainly nice to know that these changes are scalable if we wanna save all of it, or even if we just wanted to save part of it. I know a lot of people out there are struggling right now, looking for any way to fit into a tinier budget. We're all in this together, guys. So I just wanted to put this info out there for anybody who is feeling desperate and looking for some more ideas. You're definitely not alone. If you guys have ideas for ways to save money on your grocery bill, I would love to hear how you are doing it. So please leave a comment below with how you're saving money in your groceries. We have not even gotten into growing fresh produce ourselves yet. So if you're interested in a video about that, I can crunch some numbers there. And if people are out there interested in this kind of thing, I was also thinking about going to the grocery store and just calculating how much you can save just by switching to generic brands instead of name brands. Just go through a normal shopping trip and see if we can crunch some numbers there. So please leave a comment if you think that might be helpful. Thanks for watching today and we will see you next time.